what's up guys uh welcome back to electrica and uh, i really appreciate that um, you're watching now uh just a disclaimer um around me they are you know i'm near the road so there are vehicles passing and uh you know hootings so bear with me but hope you can hear me clear now today uh, I really want to show you and teach you and elaborate and explain how uh, automatic changeover work. We've talked about them, we've talked about the, the components that make up automatic changeover uh, switch, but we've not you know, elaborated this uh, before. So now, I uh, have this panel uh, before me uh, and it comprises four lights. You have uh, here uh, the two green lights and two red lights. Now we have green light here, which shows main available here. We have the red one, which is main on load, uh, gen available, and gen on load. So basically, as you see right now, you see that there is a green light here, which is on, meaning that the generator is running, and the mains are off. Let's begin from there. Now, if you look closer, you are seeing two contactors uh, connected together. Now, we are going to talk about each and every component that you see up there. You look up here, you see that, and you see this, and all the connection is. Let's jump into it. Now, as I told you earlier, we have five breakers, four breakers here. We have a phase monitor, we have a, a timer, we have a, a lily, we have a timer, we have a lily, we have a breaker. Now, from here, from this lily here, going this side, that is, uh, uh, these are connected to the main contactor. And then from this timer, this side, they are connected to the generator. Now, I've done a video of the components that make up uh, automatic changeover. I'll link it up and then you will check it out, please. Okay. Now, uh, these three breakers out of the four, they are connected to, to protect uh, the individual lines of this phase monitor. And then the fourth one controls uh, the control, the entire control. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to test this panel here, you would switch off one breaker and see what will happen with uh, what will happen with this uh, with the phase failure. We did that in uh, in that same video which uh, I've linked here, up here explaining uh, the three phase components. Eh? I, I mean the component makeup uh, the ch ch changeover. We did that. Now we talked about the power from here goes into the phase failure, and then the phase failure will supply the timer. And then the timer will then supply the lily. And the reason why we have a lily here, it's because, first of all, uh, this lily uh, supplies the contactor coil. And uh, we cannot use the timer to supply the contactor coil because now, for, for example, this particular uh, contactor we have in this panel, they are rated at 170 amps, so the timer can't hold that, but the lily can. So we supply the lily with a the timer, then the timer supply the contactor. Okay. Now, equally, so we have a timer on the side of the generator, a timer and uh, a lily. So we don't have a phase monitor because the phases from the generator, they are already monitored by a phase monitor, which is integrated in the generator card. Now, we also have here the, the timer that's supplying the reader and then the reader supplies the journey contactor. But also, we use also these relays to interlock, electrical interlock uh, of the two contactors. We talked about these interlocks. Uh, we have a video, you can check it up. We will link it up. And then we have also a breaker that breaks the control of the generator. Hope we are clear here. Every single thing in this panel we talked about it and uh, i'll link all the videos uh in the card now the only thing i wanted us to talk about is now these two contactors uh we have one for the main and then one for the generator and then it's it's just the same way we did the other one it's just the same way we did the, the manual uh, that uh, you have now two lines of power coming in from down. You have power that uh, going into the main. You have power that going into the gen. Then at their, their output, you have to link them together and then that's where you tap your load. So this is their output and they are all linked together. And then 
you take the load from here and then it goes to to your other you know connection is at the other end this is a mechanical interlock and uh, like i already explained to you about the electrical interlock that we do inside the the lilies so here we can also put the mechanical one and this mechanical one it's a uh, very really fundamental uh, in in this connection because then if your electrical interlock fail then you can use it. this is being used because you see this contactor is engaged the generator contactor and this is not engaged so even if someone press this thing manually the interlock cannot allow it to you know to to engage and also if things goes wrong if uh, that fails the electrical one then power will just go off because this will never allow anything like that to happen so uh, mechanical interlocks are very fundamental uh, to use inside uh, changeovers especially automatic changeovers it's something that you don't want to to leave out okay then the, the other thing also uh, you always need to label your cables very well uh, you you give them colors if they are all of them are the same color then you have to use insulating tapes to making sure that uh, you've labeled them uh, blue yellow and red because uh, following color coding also it is really uh, it's something good and it is very essential in uh, electrical uh, power connection is okay so from there you go to uh, to the bypass if you have one but we'll talk about bypass in a separate video okay uh, so if you have uh, any question whatsoever about that please don't hesitate to you know to ask us and we were able to to talk about it